Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you for a magazine make. So today we're doing creative stamping. This is issue number 83. Um, love, love, love the free gifts this month. They're just absolutely gorgeous, but we will come to them in a moment. So this is the magazine. Um, so it is creative stamping issue 83. Um, lots of inspiration in here. So um, I'm not going to go through it properly just because if you're going to buy this then obviously um, you'll want to read it yourself so we'll just pick a few pages at random um, so this is for use with the stamp set that we have been given um, yep lots and lots of inspiration we also have bits um, on the crafty individuals which we do have two free stamps from them as well uh, so that's quite nice uh, competitions um, we have this um, advert for paper craft essentials um, issue 186 and it is impossible a card kit Alice in Wonderland we did that yesterday so um, if you haven't seen that please do head over to my channel it is on there um, so yeah, so lots and lots and lots of inspiration. Um, there is a USA subscription offer, so £24.99 um, every three months. If I hold this up for you, then um, you can pause the video and um, be able to go over and subscribe. So that is for the USA, um, which I think is great. It's the first time I've actually seen um, an offer for people who are in the US. So, yeah. Um, but like I said, lots and lots of inspirations. My inspirations to go with the stamps that we've got. Um, yeah, some adverts. Um, another um, oh, competition. So yeah, lots and lots of inspiration. So the free stamp sets that we got in this month are these. So these are the Crafty Individuals, which are just gorgeous. I've taken them out of the cellophane wrapper just so that it doesn't glare as much. So we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous owl um, with a moon. And then we also have this, um, I wanna say it's a hair, because I think don't rabbits have floppy ears, hairs have pointy ears. Um, and then we've got the moon behind, which I think is just absolutely gorgeous. And then we have this one, which is an enchanted woodland set. And look at that, isn't that just absolutely stunning? So what I thought I would do today um, is I've actually cut some watercolor paper down um, to six inch squares. I thought we'd do some six inch cards. Um, and what I might do is build a scene with one uh, so we'll do some scene building and then maybe um, work with the well mix the two together so we'll see what we'll come up with I am going to put this bit on fast forward um, just the stamping out part and the colouring in part because um, it can take quite a while once I've done that we'll come back and we'll put everything together um, and we'll, we'll talk through it but yeah so this bit is literally just me stamping um, the images I am going to use my clear embossing powder to go over them so that um, my the ink doesn't bleed with my watercolours I am using my gouache watercolours from Arteza so um, yeah uh, that's what I'm using so yeah um, so I'll do that and then when we finish we'll come back and we'll add um, whether we add inks or other bits of stamping or what have you I need to go and let the dogs in uh, they were fighting so I, I kicked them outside um, for a bit of peace and quiet so yeah okay so I will be back in a second um, and I hope you enjoy the next bit
Okay, so I'm back. Right, what I've done is, um, so I did this um, scene here. Um, it's just sort of, I'm going to have to stick them on the card, I think, because they are rolling. Um, so we've got the dark trees and stuff. It is going to get cut down. Um, <clears throat> but what I thought was, in these gaps that we have, we can have um, a couple of the animals. Um sort of dotted around I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all I love these mushrooms I think they're absolutely gorgeous and then in the pack um, there is some fairies so just here um, so I thought I'll just stamp them directly on because um, I wasn't sure where I was going to put them at first so I thought right I'll do that very very last so that's what I'm thinking and then maybe the sentiment at the top but I think before we do that um, I will be sticking them on the card and then the last one is I love this owl but I didn't want to go with the, the sunset or a dark sky or anything I just wanted to do something very very simple so just something like that um, yeah so really really like them um right what am I looking for card bases okay so I'm just using um six inch square card bases when I uh one two I only need two out so <coughs> excuse me um so yeah so I'm just going to use two six inch card bases now these are a bit bigger um only slightly but I really really don't mind that at all now I am going to fill really really fill this up with lots of double sided tape um, just because it is um, they are going to want to curl up so the more tape we can put on the better so that it doesn't curl up and it stays flat so uh, this may take me a while because it takes me quite a while to undo this because my nails so I get a gel polish on my nails um, to keep them looking nice and yeah um, it's not very good for if you want to make cards and you want to take off any of the right I want the bottom bit cut off so we're wanting it about there so what I'm going to do is let's so I'm just using my tweezers and because there we are so I'm just going to stick that bit down there and then we're going to take the rest of the bits off um, and that's just so I know that I get a, a better sort of position for it um, so yeah my phone's gone mental I don't know why um, so yeah okay let's right nearly there nearly there Um, I do have a couple of doggies behind, well, um, actually I only have one doggie behind me, I have Quincy. Normally it's a lady, but we have Quincy joining us today. So, hello Quincy, how are you? Right, um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim around the edge of this just so that it is perfect. So, these are 6 by 6 inch cards, but I found that when I do buy them, they're always slightly smaller than a 6 inch card always doesn't make any difference which brand that I buy um, so right oh, can we? there we go so there we are so that's nice and flat now so let's get rid of this bits of rubbish and then let's do the same with the other piece so I love that I love that sunset effect um, so all I used on that was I used a dark blue um, and then I added in a nice dark purple with a dark red and then a dark orange and then just to bring in the green from the grass I added green so that's all I did with that one and then this one I loaded my paper up and I mean loaded it up with water and then just splattered loads of different colours on I then dried that and then I did the, with the same colours that I used um, where it's all spread on the background I came in and did some splatters while it was dry so two very very simple um, yeah two very simple backgrounds um, that anyone can do and you never know what you're going to get as well which is quite nice so right, make sure we don't move this because once it's stuck down I can't change it 
so there okay so let's there we are right so I'm going to take all of these bits off but like I said the owl I love the owl but I just I, I don't know I just didn't want to do the obvious background I just didn't want to do a night sky a trees in I love owls um, and I just wanted him to have something just a little bit different um, so that's why I've went with this sort of background um, and let him just sort of stand out we are going to put some sentiments on as well because we've got some gorgeous sentiments um, in the pack so let's use them but what I might do <coughs> excuse me I need, I need to go and get a drink of water um, what I might do is use um, I don't know whether to use some gold embossing powder or not or whether that will just not look that good I don't know um, oh, I'll decide in a second after we've yeah because I don't really want to stamp straight on them so I'm going to have to do it on paper because it is watercolour paper so um, and watercolour paper sort of has a texture to it so you never get an even um, stamp first time um, well I don't um, on watercolour paper so this is what I'm thinking and then what I might do is I might add that little hair there just just there oh, how cute is that um so yeah so that's what I'm thinking and then actually what about if we pop these mushrooms here um, with our little rabbit there and then we have our little hedgehog there so yeah that's what I'm thinking then we'll come in with our sentiment so um uh, let's go somewhere only we know so I think I might use that one on here um, and then I might have let's have a look um, hmm I quite like that believe I think I might do the believe but I have just also noticed we have some stars so how about we do some stamping of stars right um, right let's do right, I'm getting carried away again let's do the sentiments so let's sort out the sentiments first so I've just got do I want a white card um, yeah yeah we will right um, I'm going to bring back my stamping platform um, and I really need to sort out my desk it's got loads and loads of bits on so there's me saying that I'm going to keep a nice tidy room but I've had um, oh, I've had some ideas for videos so I've sort what I've done is I've put them together um, all the bits and pieces together and they're just sort of off to the side of me and then when it comes to filming um, I was just going to go and get them so when I get an idea I normally fill like a little tub up or something um, with all the bits and then um, yeah and then we go from there as a a hedgehog right um, so at the minute I have a couple of tubs with stuff that I thought of and um, that I would like to do so yeah and plus I have a few cards that I would like to make um, which I won't be filming but, um, I don't film everything that I make I create stuff every day I create actually quite a bit every day so I'm always always in my room right um, let's put these down there yeah right I'm just going to come in with my black ink and then just like that and then the same as what we've done let's put some uh, clear embossing powder on so I do need another bit of paper just so that it matches in with the rest and then let's melt that so I go in from the back because it's less likely that I am actually going to burn the embossing powder so um, I just think it looks a lot nicer. Okay. So there's that sentiment. 
um, Quincy's not sort of realising. All he has to do is push the gate for him to go out. There you go. That's really... Um, yeah, he was sort of banging at the gate because I have a safety gate on my room. We don't have a door. <clears throat> uh, we took the door off when actually when we first moved in this house because every time you opened it, you couldn't get into um, the fridge. And it used to be like um, it used to be like one big circle out. So you'd have your front room. You'd walk through a door and you'd be in your hallway. Walk through a door, kitchen. Walk through a door, dining room. Walk back. Through walk through another door and then you'd be in your front room um so we ended up blocking the door off from the front room uh to the dining room because um we just didn't have enough seats so we actually have three sofas in there now um and then the door from here into the kitchen just kept we just couldn't get into i couldn't see the kids when this used to be a, um, a dining room um, we just couldn't see the kids when they were eating, especially if we needed to get in and out of the fridge, cook for them. So it was just, it was just easier. Um, yeah, a lot easier just to take the door off. So we just put a safety gate on instead. So yeah. So right, I'm on this one. I'm going to use Believe. Why not? So again, just coming in with my black, I need to re-ink my archival ink actually. I wanted to use that one because um, as much as I like the Memento black ink on some stamps, it goes blotchy like that has. Um, and you've got to do it quite a few times to get a good impression and get like a full coverage. So if I'm not using my alcohol ink pens, I like to use my archival ink, but it needs re -ink, as I found out. So right, let's put some embossing powder of that we don't normally use embossing powder but yeah why not I just thought we'll watercolour in so it'd be it'll be quite nice so again I'm just gonna heat up from the back and melt that embossing powder so there it goes we have it okay so let me get rid of this and then yeah okay um because we don't need this anymore so my embossing powders can now actually go away so um oh dear we've we've now got a little lady in the room so um lady this jar is not yours Okay, so I've just got rid of the embossing powders, so that should make some room on my desk. So they've been put away. Um, hi, lady. Are we up to trouble today? Um, yes, she is. She's look. She's always looking for something to eat. Quincy blessing. He's just stood there looking at me. I know exactly what he wants, and I'm not going to say the words because he'll start barking at me. Um, but yeah. All you have to do is look at their faces and you melt. Yeah. Right. Um, somebody did ask me how I store um, my stamp sets that I do get, the A4 ones. So what I actually do is, um, I'll do it on camera for you now. So I just have some CD cases. Um, uh, empty CD cases. You can buy them empty or you can just, um, we store our normal CDs in, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, in like metal boxes. Um, so, because we do have quite a lot. Um, so all I'm doing is, so this tree won't fit in here. Um, so they do fit on both sides, but that the trees are too big. So with the A4 stamp sets, I always use um, two two CD boxes um, because you you always find that there's the never um, there's always too many stamps to sort of fit into one. But you can sort of utilise and do each side, so which is nice. So yes, yeah, so this is really all that I do. And then um, the other thing, so let's get them all off. 
and then what I do is I will stamp all of them onto some pages I put a number on my CD um, onto my actual CD cases and a number on the page where I've stamped stuff and then when I want that stamp I know um, which CD case it's in so I hope that that's made sense so let's um, let's finish all this while I'm actually thinking of it so I have got an idea with this house so um, I might keep that up because um, I think it would be a perfect house for Hagrid from Harry Potter so I think I'm going to make a Harry Potter card using that house what do you think um, and then if um, these run into three CDs then yeah I just again um, I try not to mix and match my sets unless it's like unless you only get like one um, if you only get one sort of stamp out of each one then yeah I'll mix and match but oh, if I can get this stamp off I'll put that in there so yeah so this is all I do when my stamps come and then they get filed away I do actually need to start doing them because I have too many stamp sets and um, some I absolutely love um, but there's others that I just I I've used once and I've never used again and it's such a shame for them just to be sat there so I really need to get them sorted out um, you know and either donate them or sell them or um, I don't know I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do but yeah I do need to I do need for them to uh, be be sorted so I might do that while we're all in a lockdown so oh this is really hard yeah. Right, last couple of bits um, and then the crafty individual stamps that came with this set um, I am actually going to put in a separate case because they're, they're a separate um, yeah a separate stamp set right I'm gonna have to move these properly just so that we can fit everything in I think that's the last one yeah so I will sort them off camera but yeah so that is what I do um, and then what I normally do is I'll just I just tear the title of the stamps off like that check to see there's nothing else that I would like and then I just fold that off and put it in with my stamp set and then I know so yeah so that's what I do with my stamps when I get them from magazines and it just makes life so much easier um, so they're ready now just to be recorded and put away so and then the acetate I do keep the acetate because I use it in shaker cards um, and I also use the pattern acetate as well because it looks really nice in shaker cards so um, and then they get filed away uh, so yeah so that, that's what I normally do so right okay so let's grab this I'm going to cut these down so, there's one, and then a bit more, there's the other, so it does need, lady, do you know, she really is looking for trouble today, um, so after I've done this, I'm actually going to be doing some dinner, um, for my daughter and then we are going to be taking the doggies out for their daily walk and for our exercise as well um, hopefully it will be quiet so I'll actually get to take uh, Quincy with us because Quincy he's lovely he's very he loves people coming to the house he'll give everybody cuddles and kisses but when he's outside he becomes very very protective so um, it can be quite hard for me to walk in but I think with the lockdown happening and people not allowed in to go out unless it is for exercise we're going to see what he's like because if there's no one around he's lovely so we can take him to the beach and stuff and he's fine right um okay so I'm going to come in with this cobalt uh, archival ink um for the stars and it's I'm quite happy if they don't sort of Go on okay um although they they went on fine um but i am going to 
sort of move the stars and we're just going to have stars just across the top because I, th I feel like um, it's that's going to sit there we need something at the top just to sort of yeah break it up a bit these stars are gorgeous um, and then one more over on this side I love those stars they are absolutely gorgeous right okay so let me put them away so i can sit in there like that right so that's that one so um i am going to raise these up so let me see if we can find um i've got some oh there we are i'm gonna say i knew i had an open sheet somewhere so I'm just going to put some foam squares on to open these up like this and then yeah so this is the first one so I love this stamp set I hope um, it's giving you some ideas um, yeah um, these <laughs> I would suggest if you if you're trying to get a hold of these magazines try more mags on um, the internet uh, because I think that's where I I did my subs who I did my subscriptions with and um, so you might be able to get them there and get them delivered to your door um, I know that because we are all restricted with being able to go out I don't think going out to get a craft magazine is essential as much as I would think it would be essential um, I don't think the police or the government would say it was so I would try um, I would definitely try more mags at first and see if you can get the magazines there um, oh, that looks lovely uh, get the magazines there um, and then they will be delivered straight to your door. So it's also something to look forward to as well. Um, if not, I know that people do sell them on eBay, um, but they tend to add an extra couple of pounds on. So uh, try try the, the place first, um, try more mags first, or any other um, magazine subscription service as well, because yeah, I really don't want you to be paying over the odds. Um, but I just I love these magazines and there's loads and loads of stamps there for lots of creativity as well and loads of ideas and will definitely keep you busy. Um, just so that you're aware, because um, I'm not sure if any of you are aware, I'm not actually sponsored by any of the magazines uh, to do any of these videos. So I do the, I pay for everything myself and I do them because I like doing them. And I like to see what I can come up with using the free gifts. So um, I was going to banner it but I don't think I'm going to. Um, so yes, yeah, so I am not sponsored at all. It'd be lovely if they sponsored me. Um, I'd, I'd be absolutely chuffed to bits if they said we'll send you a, a magazine each month if you want to do a video but no they don't um so I do do this um yeah um out of my own money um and I do it because I love doing it um and that's basically yeah so that's that um but I, I didn't know if any of you were aware or not so um so yeah but I just love making stuff with the magazines. I mean, not all the free gifts, I'm not gonna lie, not all the free gifts are, are brilliant, but I still give it a go. I still see what I can make with them. Um, I just love the challenge of it. There. So there is our first card. I was gonna put the fairies on, but I don't think I'm going to. I love that. I, I just love this little pop of color off these. Um, so yeah, how nice is that? Um, I'm just seeing if that can be buffered up. Um, it's so cute. So that is the first card. So let's get on to our second, second and last card. Um, and you knew I just had to come on and do an owl. You just knew it. Um, so we are going to raise our gorgeous owl up because why not? Let's go for it. Um, thankfully, I have lots of foam pads and foam tape and foam everything else in my stash so I'm I, I'm hoping I've got enough for it at least a month <laughs> we'll say um, and then after that we'll just have to glue everything down and see what we can come up with um, 
but yeah so there is our gorgeous gorgeous owl and um, I'll use these for the moon and the hair so let's take these off I really enjoy doing these actually and look like I said I love these stamp, stamp sets I just think they're gorgeous so I am moving the moon to the other side um yeah because why not um yeah I love it when um, a magazine comes in and the stamp sets are just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, like I said, I do have some Harry Potter papers there and I do have some Harry Potter stamps and I'm sure there's a Hagrid in, so I'm going to have to come on and do a Harry Potter card using um, this stamp set because oh, I just think it would be perfect. As soon as it came yesterday, I showed um, my daughters and they both said, yep, yeah, you have to do a Harry Potter card, Mum. So that's what I'm going to do um, and hopefully give you guys some ideas as well of how else you can use your stamps because I have had a lady ask me if I can use the stamps in other ways. So um, I will try my hardest, honey. Um, I can't say I'm going to uh, succeed, but we, we can give it a try. Right, I'm just going to put this on foam pad as you can hear. Um, Quincy is barking because he's wanting food. My daughter's coming downstairs. She'll be wanting her dinner um, because I've just seen the time. I said I'd do a dinner for one o'clock and it is actually quarter past one. So, whoops. Um, never mind. Um, I think the last thing I'm going. No, I'm not. Oh, should I? Do you know what? Yes, we are. I'm going to add the brown in though. I was going to add really bright, bright ones, but I'm not. We'll just add. So just. A couple of nouveau drops so that is it there are my two cards using creative stamping magazine issue number 83 um, and let me quickly clear off my desk so I'll tidy up my desk and then I'll be back okay so that is me all finished um, there are the two cards I hope you've enjoyed this um, absolutely gorgeous stamp set um i will come back on and do a harry potter theme card using the stamp set because that house just reminds me of hagrid so um yeah i will have to look and get look out and get well i'll have to find out my uh, stamps for them but um thank you so much for watching i hope it's giving you some inspirations like i said do try um moremags.com to see if you can get these um see if you can get the magazines there if you do buy them from uh, the shops um other than that happy crafting everybody um and until next time see you later bye